During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about drain tile and just the basics of drain tile, what it is, so you don't have to be scared about it if you're a non-farmer. Well, understanding what drain tile actually does is really important. When we think about putting in drain tile, it's not a new concept. This has been done for hundreds of years. And when we look at almost every house that's getting built, Brian, I would probably yep. say every house that's getting built, you're putting tile around the foundation because you don't want to have water come into your basement. So what you're doing with that is the same thing you're doing out in the fields. You're trying to control where the water table's at. Exactly. The water table can be a good thing, but it also can be a bad thing. If the water table gets too high, what happens is there's no oxygen in the water table. So if there's no oxygen, that means there are no roots that can grow into it. There are no, well, I shouldn't say no soil microbes, but many soil microbes will end up dying off. It's a bad thing for soil health. It's a bad thing for yield. It's a bad thing for the environment. What we're trying to do is keep that ideal balance out in our soil with 25% water, 25% air, and 50% dirt. The big key is if you get too much water coming up from the bottom, now all of a sudden it's forcing all the air out of the soil that's bad for microbes and bad for our crops. The number one reason why farmers want to put drain tile in the ground, yes, it's water table management, but what it really amounts to is if roots can go deeper, then they have much better chance to have oxygen, nutrients, and everything they need to increase yield. So ultimately, it's a yield play for the farmer. But a lot of people worry about, oh, we're gonna put tile in and then we're gonna flood everybody out downstream. That's ridiculous. The studies have shown there's gonna be less water downstream long-term. And I just want you to think about this logically for a second. Just step back, take the emotion out of it and say, all right, how is the farmer going to pay for this tile? Well, he's gonna pay for it with yield increase, right? If a crop yields more, is it going to take less water or is it going to take more water? Okay, when you think about it that way, you go, oh yeah, I guess a high yielding crop is going to take a lot more water out of the soil. Exactly. So in the short term, when the farmer puts the drain tile in the ground, yes, for the next couple weeks, there's gonna be a lot of water running out. After that point, and from then until forever, there's gonna be a little bit less water going downstream because the farmer's raising more yield. Now well, the big thing that I like about it too, Brian, is that if you do have that water table down a little bit, it allows more rainwater to soak into the soil rather than run off across the top. And what we've seen over the last generation, this generation of farmers has greatly reduced soil erosion. It's yep. been a huge difference and drainage tile has been proven in study after study to reduce soil erosion. That's a big thing for the sustainability of farming. The other big myth that a lot of people believe is that Having drain tile out there is going to lead to dirtier water, more polluted water. Also ridiculous, because when you stop and think about it, in order for water to get into the tile, it's not just, oh, when it rains, that water runs down and goes to the tile. The only way that that tile runs is if the water table comes up. So rainfall may go down and then the water table may rise. It's only when that water table rises above the level of the tile line. Okay, well, you think about all that time and all that soil that the water had to go through. The soil is a tremendous water filter. So almost all the time when water comes out of tile lines, it is drinking water quality. It's awesome. So yes, there could potentially be a little bit higher level of nitrate in there than runoff water, but all other contaminants are going to be much lower. And in terms of the nitrate, usually that level is pretty low too if the farmer is properly managing nitrogen applications in his field. And one more comment about drinking water quality. When we look at the water coming out of drain tile, yeah, there may be a little bit more nitrate, but the drinking water standard is 10 parts per million. It's not zero. There's always gonna be a little bit of nitrate in water. Well, once again, we just wanted to make sure you understand some of the basic concepts with drain tile. The most important thing to know, though, is it is about water table management. We want to keep that water table down to three or four feet down in the ground so roots and soil microbes have plenty of space to live. And for our crops to have plenty of space to live, we need to wipe out weeds and keep them out of the way. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>